Hello everyone, welcome once again to my weekly devotional. Today I want to talk to you briefly about godly contentment. Can we really be content? Can we really be content with what we have, where we're at in life? When you see your neighbor having a bigger house, when you see your friends having better jobs, when you see your colleagues at work driving expensive cars, can we really be content with what we have? I believe this is possible, but this is only possible when we realize that God loves you regardless of what you have. The Bible says in Psalm 68, verse 35, you, God, are awesome in your sanctuary. See, our body is the temple of God, and if our body is the temple of God, that means it's also the sanctuary of God. And if our body is the sanctuary of God, and the Bible says that God is awesome in his sanctuary, then God is awesome in your life right now. Regardless of what you have, regardless of what you own, God is awesome in this place. This is the perspective that God has given me about life, and this is how I'm able to be content with whatever I have. Because the life is not measured by material things. In fact, Jesus says this in Luke 12, 15, Beware, guard against every kind of greed. Life is not measured by how much you own. Isn't that refreshing? Somebody needs to hear that right now. The pressure of life, the pressure to, to compete, the pressure to meet people's standards. God loves you regardless of how much is in your savings account. God loves you regardless of whether you're um, living on the government support right now. God loves you regardless of your present situation. We all go through different stages and seasons in life, and we need to realize that God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is always awesome. And in your life, God is awesome right now. And when you begin to realize that, that changes your perspective. That makes you realize that God is still working out things for your good. That makes you remember that God has not forsaken you, that he's still up to something. He's still at work. I've been in a time where there was nothing. I remember when I got into the mission field, it was quite a long time ago, and God challenged me to give up everything. I mean, literally everything I owned. All I had was a pair, uh, a pair of jeans and a shirt over my body. And I lived that way for maybe about four months. God was teaching me that life was not measured by how much I owned. And in that time, I still ministered in churches. I still changed lives. I still found joy and contentment and peace in God. And through that season, God began to speak to people. And people began to bless me with clothes. People began to bless me with shoes. And everything I'd given, God gave me back. But it was a sacred time in my life where God had to show me, and I pray that he wouldn't take you through that kind of experience, that life is not measured by how much you have. So please, be encouraged. Don't compete. Don't define your life based on how much you own, but define your life based on how much God loves you, knowing that life is in seasons and God Always work out things for your good. Have a blessed week.